Here we go. Yet another assignment. Okay, you've done your research. You've made your arguments. You've got all the facts you need to back up your points. And now you're putting the finishing touches on your citations. But some of the sources that you used came from websites. And it's hard to tell who wrote them and when. What do you do? Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Writing Rescue, a video series designed to help you write or maybe mark school papers in APA style, whether you're in university, college, or high school. So, let's talk citing. First, make sure that you've seen episode one of this series on the basics of citing. Now, if you're dealing with a formally published article, like a journal article or a newspaper article, it's pretty straightforward to create a citation. All you need is the name of the author or authors and the year of the publication. But when it comes to websites, things can get a little bit more complicated. That's because sometimes websites don't list the authors of their material, and sometimes they don't list a year or publication date. These can be confusing to cite. In APA style, most articles that are published on the web but are not published anywhere else are called informally published works. So let's start with some easy examples. Let's say that you found a paper online using a database or something like Google Scholar. The article has an author, it lists a journal that the article was published in, and that's not considered an informal publication because it's published within a formal journal. So for that, you just use the standard method of citing, even though you did get it from the web. But here's an example of something that's a truly informal publication because it isn't published anywhere else. Let's say you found an article on an organization's web page. It clearly states that the article was written by a particular author or authors, and there's a date. Great. Use the author's name and the year just as you would for any other citation. Now, if there's no author listed, if the information comes from an organization's website, then you're going to use the organization as the author. If there's no author and no clear organization, then in place of the author's name, what you're going to do is use just the first few words of the article's title. If the article is entitled, Attention to Detail and a Good Highlighter, Success Stories from Students Who Cited Properly in Their Papers, then you'd create your citation like this. Now, note that you don't want to use the full title because that would take up way too much space on your page and it would really interrupt the flow of your writing. It might help you reach your word count, but it really won't impress your instructor very much. If you're using a signal phrase, make sure that you explain that you're talking about an article or a web page in your signal phrase. Now, when you go to create your reference page, you have to make sure that you use the same information in place of the author. So if you use the article title in the citation, use the full article title in the reference. Sometimes web pages will have no clear author, but they will say that they were reviewed by someone. But a reviewer isn't an author, so you have to use the organization's name if there is one, or you use the title of the article. Now, what if you can't find a date? Websites will often not have a date. Some of them will have a copyright date that gives a range of years, but this isn't a date of publication you're never going to have a range of years in a citation. So if there really, truly isn't a date to be found, you actually get to do something easy. No, you can't just leave the date off because that would look like you made a mistake. Instead, you get to use n.d. Want to guess what that stands for? Yep, you got it. No date. You can use n.d. just as you would a year in any other citation. And when you create your references, you get to do the same thing. Wherever you'd put in the date, you just put in n.d. Now, note that when there's no author, you can't just put in n.a. meaning no author. That's not allowed. 
If you had lots of references with no author and no date, the reader really wouldn't be able to tell which article your information came from. Now, that leads me to one more thing for you to think about. If you're relying on a web page with no author that's not associated with a clear organization, you have to ask yourself whether this is really a reliable source for you to use in your paper. Ask yourself whether you can find the information somewhere else. So that's it. That's how to cite from a web page whether there is an author or not. There are lots of other things that you need to know about citing, so be sure to check out our other episodes for information on citing different types of materials. Thanks for watching Writing Rescue, and good luck with that paper.